she was doing while she was pregnant, but there you go, we agreed to disagree. So I think to myself, I've got to help the little guy out because I was not a smart kid either. And I think, well, what helped me when I was younger was Sesame Street. Who used to watch Sesame Street at any point? Yeah. Like, it's a fantastic show, isn't it? So I'm sitting down, I stick on an episode of Sesame Street, and it just happens to be a very special episode where Elmer's uncle, John, the most mundane named Muppet in the world, gets shipped out to the Iraq war and is promptly killed. Sesame Street, I'm trying to teach my little nephew about like numbers and shit, and you're killing off the Muppets? That doesn't help! Imagine how that went down when his mum came to pick him up. So, what did you learn today? I learned that death comes for us all eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not allowed to babysit anymore, and to be honest, I am confused by the whole concept of a Muppet going to one. I know we live in this enlightened age where people of every race and colour and creed are allowed to fight and die for their country. Does that really extend to small felt tickle monsters? Is that what we want defending our national security? Because I'm not getting behind that. I mean, how does that even work? Does the puppeteer have to go with him? Because let's be right about it, that's a shitty day at work, isn't it? If you're going into the studio to teach kids about like numbers and vegetables, you're not being deployed in Iraq, blown up in the world's most adorable roadside bomb. Fuck that. Now, um, I've actually been quite harsh on it. I actually thought it was quite a tastefully done episode. I get what they were trying to do, teach kids about reality, war, death. You know, it was tastefully done. It was realistic, bizarrely realistic. I thought the torture scene where they cut off his arm with sticks and shifted back to the family was a bit much, but there we go. <laughs> Shit happens. But then, what really disturbs me about this is where do you draw the line with this? You know, they're teaching kids about like, life and death and everything. That's, I get that, that's respectful, but where do you actually draw the line with that? What's next on Sesame Street storyboard, you know? Cookie Monster, just a little bit too addicted to cookies, ends up sucking Grover's dick for a fix. <laughs> uh, Oscar the Crouch, he's tired of that little trash can, they make him live in, starts to occupy Sesame Street movement. Ends up getting maced and beaten by an overzealous Sesame Street police officer. Ernie, domestically abusing Bert. Sorry sir, don't you see your friend obtain these injuries? Yeah. Down the stairs, didn't you, Bert? <laughs> I, I do spend far more time in the mirror practicing an early impression than any grown man really should. It's a bit weird. Um, but no, so you can understand why I'm worried about this because I, I don't know where it's going, and that concerns me. And my concerns were proven valid the other night when I was browsing the internet and I stumbled across something truly, truly disturbing. It started off like a typical Tuesday night. I was looking for naked pictures of Kate Perry on Google. And so I typed in Kate Perry boobs into Google. It seemed like a natural place to start. And lo and behold, there was a new link, one I hadn't stumbled across before. So I clicked on it. Unfortunately, it turned out to not be Katy Perry. It was actually a pornography with a Katy Perry lookalike called Katy Pervy. I thought, well, okay, you know, I'll squint a little bit, use my imagination. I can work with this, you know, I've worked with it worse. So, you know, I think about it. I click on the link and then I make the worst mistake of my life. I hit play on the video because you see, ladies and gentlemen, the co-star of this pornography, it turned out to be Elmo. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm sorry, I, just, I find it a little upsetting actually because I know you're going to find this hard to believe. It's been a really fucking long time since I've been laid, right? Because there's so much competition out there. It's not fair. I mean, only you men have to compete with other men to get a girl, but now it's going to be with other fucking women, there's like, there's homosexuals, there's transsexuals, there's bisexuals, there's asexuals, there's omnisexuals, and how fucking puppets are getting laid for you? What world is that fair? So I'm going to be in a moment. Tell me, Jesse. No, but I thought, well, no, actually I can console myself with this. They're probably just making a little one-off joke, because 
Katy Perry was in fact on Sesame Street, and she got kicked off for having such audacious tartar. So I thought actually this is probably a little one-off gag where they uh, bring Elmer in. That illusion quickly faded away when a uh, fully erect human penis began to extend from his small felt body. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was the moment that my childhood truly died. I felt myself aging by the second, getting older and older. Suddenly accounts and finances seemed interesting. Grey became my favourite colour. Racism seemed socially acceptable. I was stuck in that hell for what felt like an eternity, but actually it was about 15 minutes plus buffer in time. But still, <laughs> I was a closer to the end and I could see, I've been around the block, okay? I, I know when pornos are coming to an end. I could see all the signs. And his arms were flailing about like an epileptic patient at a UV rave. His googly eyes suddenly became straight and focused like a panther focusing in on his prey. And at last he exploded into a beautiful, fiery orgasm. And at that moment, three questions came to my mind. First of all, does this count as bestiality? Second of all, can a muppet impregnate a human woman? And third of all, Am I really going to jerk off to this? <laughs> the answer to all three was a resounding yes. <laughs> so a few minutes later, the inevitable muppet <laughs> wank shame kicked in, and I thought, you know what, something's gone wrong here. This isn't good at all. The, the Muppets of my day, they were more wholesome than this. They were better than this. I know they were. And in fact, I'm going to look it up, because it's going to be a good 20 minutes before I'm able to go again. I've got time, so I'm going to look up the Muppet Wiki, because everything has a wiki these days. I have a wiki. Look me up. It's great. <laughs> and, um, so I look it up, and I think, you know what I'll do? I reckon I would have started watching Sesame Street around about 18 years ago. So I'll look up a random episode from 18 years ago. So I look one up, and the plot synopsis was, Snuffleupagus invites Big Bird into his alleyway to share his delicious pies. <laughs> Big Bird tries to tell the adults of Sesame Street about this, but nobody will believe him. <sighs> Let's face it, that's not very moral and wholesome, is it? What's the moral of that story? <laughs> hey there, kids. If a big hairy stranger ever invites you into his alleyway in the dead of night, don't tell your parents about it because they will never, ever believe you. <laughs> that's disturbing right there. But actually, I think I want to end. I'll come into an end now, but I want to end on actually a serious note. I want to get real with you all for a second. I think there's a real issue out there, actually. It's Muppet-related, you know, like the rest of my set. I apologise if anyone in the audience actually hates Muppets. This must have been a horrible fucking seven minutes for you. But it's almost over. I'm thinking, right, what is truly disgusting, what worries me about the world that we live in, is America, leaders of the free world, they treat their Muppets better than they treat their homosexual community, right? Think about it. Muppets, they can openly get married, not like a civil ceremony, they can actually get married. Okay? They can openly serve in the armed forces without any fear of repercussion or discrimination. And, worst of fucking all, they get to walk around all day with a fish shoved up their ass and nobody says a thing! <laughs> Muppets are living the dream. <laughs> Thank you very much.